Pushing past the limit, tripping on hallucinogenics. My cigarette burnt my finger, cause I forgot I lit it. Ripping with my sinners, cause fuck it, man, I ain't no beginner. And I crawled back to the life that I said I wouldn't live in. Cause I just couldn't open up, I'm always shifting. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollars that. Things have been pretty slow going here. Some of you guys wanted an update. Tom, Tom, how how was how are you doing? How is the shoulder doing? And uh, let me tell you, the first couple of weeks were rough, but we're getting to the next phase, which I'm starting to be able to move around a little bit and being able to kind of start to slowly get back at it. So I've had plenty of time downtime here to kind of reflect and you know I've been still thinking 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 was it worth it and I I you know I don't I just don't know anymore I just you know, you know I just want to first of all I don't recommend this I, I recommend if you start tweaking your shoulder maybe get it looked at ahead of time don't let it keep loosening and loosening up on you like I did I just kind of kept powering through it powering through it and you know eventually what happened was going to happen so maybe stay on top of that and take care of that little little pro tip for you. You know, I just wanted to maybe caution some of you guys. I know you've been thinking, you've probably been thinking, well, you know, maybe I want to become a professional canoeist, you know, canoeing professional. And uh, I got to tell you, you know, you think, you think it's all about, you know, the fast cars, the fast canoes, the fast women, the glitz, the glamour. You know, the red carpets. You know, you're out there on the river one day and you're just hitting some booths, you know, it's just it's it's going awesome. Next thing you know, you wake up in your parents' basement and you've been living there for three weeks and you're 30, 40 years old and you can't use your body. That's the cold hard truth. That's how it goes. I mean it happens in any sport, any sport you compete long enough, you're bound to jack yourself up. So that just comes with the territory. So right now, week three with the shoulder, we're working on slowly building flexibility back, uh, muscle back, while still letting the, the, uh, the shoulder itself heal. We're not pushing it too hard. So these are, um, these are what some of, uh, these are what my mornings have been looking like. Check it out. Come on. It's been a long, long road. Yes. Seen a lot of things on my ride. Come on. Breaking down slowly. Time's overheating. Running out of places to drive. You know we just, just keep moving down the road.
like the video, there's a like button. There's a subscribe button. You can comment. You know, stay tuned. Uh, things are starting to pick up speed here. We got ALF coming up next month down in Tennessee. The Red Machina race, which Adam's going to be racing. I'll be there to film. I'm excited about that one. So uh, stay tuned. Slowly, time to Under the table on that side. Right. Okay. And my head pops up. Tomorrow! That's right. Like, get real dramatic now. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, as I said, I've been here uh, uh, commandeering my parents' basement. AKA the new Gnarls Outdoors training facility. <laughs> I'm gonna come take take you uh, for a quick tour real quick, see what we got here. Show you what I'm working with. Pretty good deal, too bad they just don't let me stay here. I'd save a lot of money on rent. So this, uh, this is my workout room. I can't lift any of those, so they're worthless to me. Treadmill, which I don't use, I could use. I kind of just pace around in the basement instead. I got my bars here for getting that flexibility. Over here, I have my elect electronic recliners here, sleeping devices. There's a little studio setup over there. And then over here, we got some more cardio equipment or rehab shoulder stuff a little putty here this is one of my favorites this putty uh, working on that grip strength so yeah this is pretty much it this is what i've been having to work with here for the last three weeks and uh slowly getting this thing back and operational working towards the season that's the goal that's what we want that's about it not too shabby for a workout setup and for doing some rehab i definitely could be doing worse off and i just want to take this moment to thank my parents for letting me stay here and let me take over half your house i really appreciate that my place would have sucked pretty bad it wouldn't have been good, so gracias. <laughs>